with Arizona State's success in ice hockey, currently number 14 in the nation with a new on-campus rink in the works, do you see potential for five or more schools to create programs and allow the Pac-12 to sponsor hockey yeah. within the next 10 years? You want to make some news on this? Yeah, well, I'll say this. Um, I'm going to answer the hockey question, but um, it goes to the context and some misperceptions, right? And, and, and like what the priorities of our schools are. If you know, there's a perception Pac-12 has got less money, we've seen nothing but our school, not one of our schools has dropped the sport since I've been here. In fact, we've had schools add sports. Arizona State, I wasn't planning on bringing it up, Arizona State added ice hockey. We've had schools add women's lacrosse. We had Utah add men's lacrosse. We've had schools add triathlon. So why in the world would schools add sports if they're struggling so badly for money? Because the, the scorecard is different. It's about the mission, it's about opportunities, it's about broad-based excellence, and it's about prioritizing the resources that you have. So there's a little disconnect from the public perception and what our schools care about uh, and are focused on. Um, I wouldn't predict in five years that uh, ice hockey is a league, but I, I've spent time talking to NHL ownership, uh, in San Jose, in LA. Of course, we've got it uh, in Phoenix. We've got the newest, most exciting uh, franchises in Las Vegas, one in Seattle. Yeah. Yeah. It is, ice hockey is growing on the West Coast, and we are in active discussions with the NHL teams in some of our key markets about whether it's got some possibilities. I'd say keep an eye on ice hockey, keep an eye on men's lacrosse.